Shake Table Lab by Brock and JP. For the first story, we made braces to make our building straight. Our group put a straw in the center so that our building could support more weight. We started making the sides of the second story by putting four straws on the outside. Then we connected the four posts with straws to make sure our building would not sway. Next, we added supports to the building to make the building stronger. We added more tape to make sure that our structure would not fall apart. Our building totaled 39.5 centimeters in height. The first story was 19 centimeters and 20 centimeters for the second story, which means our building is up to code. The blueprint for the building was designed so that the tower would be bulky and strong. When we tested our first floor of our building, it held seven sandbags. We added straws to our building so that our first and second story would hold more sandbags. Next, we added X-shaped straws to strengthen the sides. The strongest parts of our building were the X-shaped walls and the straws in the middle because they added strength to our building. The weakest parts of our building were the top straws connecting to the walls. String was used to keep the sandbags in place. We used tape to connect the straws. With the extra supplies, we would use more straws to strengthen the second floor because it is more flimsy than the first floor. We put a sensor in our building for when we put it on the shake table. We could tell how strong the earthquake was. The top scale showed the forward and backward movement. The middle scale showed the side to side movement. And the lowest scale showed the up and down movement. Here we are, we are interviewing Brock Brandemeyer about his building structure and yeah. We're going to ask you some questions, Brock. Is that okay. all right? That's fine. How many sandbags did your building support? Um, our building structure held six sandbags. That's great. Good yep. job. Where did your building fail? Um, I think it was toward the bottom of the structure because it held the most weight, which means it needed more support, so I think we could have fixed that a lot. So, yeah. That's great. That's actually a very common spot. Yep. If you were going to build it over, what would you change? I would probably change a little bit of the top part because it kept on swaying side to side and we kind of needed to like make it more stiff so it could do that and it could hold more sandbags. Um, what did you learn about building strong earthquake proof buildings? Well, I learned that it's a, it is a really hard um, task and you need a lot of support and uh, good structure. So we learned a lot from that experience. So it's really fun. What did you like about building the project or um, what did you like about the building project or lab? Uh, I liked wor working with my friends on this because we collaborated a lot and it was a really fun experience. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Thank you. We successfully held six sandbags, which is a lot. We got lots of points for that. Yep. Pretty happy about that. Now, where did your building fail? 
Our building failed at the in the lower first floor because that's where all the weight is like put. Yeah. So that kind of collapsed and is all over from there. Exactly. If you were going to build it over, what would you change about our building? I would probably make it sl more sloped in just so it's more structure. We have more such structural yeah. support. Stiffer. Yeah, stiffer. So what did you learn about uh, building strong earthquake-proof buildings? Well, we learned that you need lots of um, support. Yeah. It's a lot better to have more strong materials rather than straws. You're not going to build a 600-foot uh, skyscraper with just straws. Yeah. That wouldn't make sense at all. Okay. What did you like about the building project? I thought it was a very great way to learn about earthquakes. We got to know more about building structures, architects, and... It's just a really great learning experience.